what is up you little carrots welcome back to farming the market this is your boy the average trading joe i just wanted to say thank you to all you guys that subscribed we are up to 20 subscribers that's pretty sweet for a small new channel so thank you guys for subscribing i really appreciate it uh, we're going to talk today about two different stocks that i jumped back on on friday um, as you guys know we've been into workhorse in sorrento therapeutics tickers are WKHS and SRNE. So if you guys uh, have seen some of my latest videos, you know that we've been in on those for a while. Um, in and out, in and out. And the reason I want to talk about a workhorse, for example, today, um, we're still waiting on a potential $6 billion plus dollar deal from the United States Postal Service. So when that gets announced, if workhorse is on the receiving end of that, they um they're gonna see a significant run up that day i'm thinking it's gonna double the stock price i think it'll see a 100 percent run up off that news because it's massive for them um they did just hire 200 employees and i was reading an article i believe they got a smaller deal with amazon to produce some of their delivery vehicles so that's pretty cool as well one of the downsides people have been talking about on workhorse is the insider selling They've been saying, oh, well, they're they're dumping their shares, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is bad for the stock price because they think that they're not going to get the deal. But after farther looking into it and a little bit more research, I found out that they only dumped about 10% of their shares. So to me, that's not a big deal at all. They just, I mean, that's how a lot of these people make some money on, you know, the executive end of the branch. So... If they need to sell some shares, they need to sell some shares. I mean, it's not like they were sitting there dumping all their shares. One guy's still holding over half a million shares, and the other one was like 280,000. I mean, it's insane amounts. So it doesn't, it's not a big deal. 10% of that is no big deal. So another thing I wanted to show you guys is just the massive growth it's been seeing. Over the last week, it's up $7.24, 30%, which is huge. Last month, I mean, you guys see it's got higher highs higher lows and it just started going so right here this was our bull flag that formed right here and ran up to the 20s high 20s and we've kind of been just petering off of you know after that point it's been 17 to 20 dollars throughout here and after that we just started taking off and right now we're sitting at 3105 but I took quite a bit of profits on workhorse this week, so I ended up rolling a lot of that into these calls right here for this coming Friday. I got 131 and I got 435s that expire this Friday. We're up 106 on them right now. But there's a lot of reasons I jumped into this. I mean, we had a nice bull flag here. You guys can see that. And it's up massive this year. If they get this deal, it's going to be huge. They also had a partnership with Hitachi recently a few weeks back that's going to help them increase their production speed up their production and it's really just a fantastic it's a fantastic deal for them and hitachi as well so the second stock we're going to talk today about is sereno therapeutics same thing goes for this i did actually exercise my first call option on robin hood so that was pretty cool um, you just have to go down there there's a little exercise button right on the option right here under this position you just click that and as long as you have the money in your account it basically just put 100 shares right there for me so that was pretty cool that was a neat experience it was something i haven't done before so if you guys haven't done it before that's that's pretty much the basics of it right there um, i'll have to show you guys one day in a video but the reason we're in on sereno they just received fda clearance for kobe guard which is their STI-1499. They approved it. They didn't approve it, but they gave them clearance to go ahead with uh, phase one trials, which is huge for them because they started doing this uh, about two weeks ago in Brazil, and there really hasn't been any major headlines about that. But I have a feeling we're going to be seeing some news results and or news releases on the results over there coming up in the near future because they've been testing that for a few weeks now. So... That's what we're waiting on on Sereno. We've got seven calls, five tens, and two twelves that expire in October on the 16th. 
So I'm kind of excited to see what happens with these. But, you know, the big thing is the FDA clearance they got to go ahead and start testing the Kobe guard and the Brazil testing as well. That's big because it's, you know, they're not just targeting the United States. They're going all over the world looking for clients and looking for, you know, people to sell these, these products to. So the other thing we're waiting on is the saliva test. We're still waiting on an emergency use, use authorization from the FDA. Um, that could be coming any day too. I mean, if you guys look here, we finally started breaking the trend that we were on down in the fours, or I'm sorry, fives, the sixes. I think we hit in the 580s or so, but we're finally breaking that trend and it looks like we're gonna start reversing here. Looks like this was our reversal point over here on the right side of the chart. So what I'm looking for on this is a run up to 25 to $30 on some kind of major news in the next month. And we'll be dumping everything then, possibly exercising one, I'm not sure. I don't want to rule it out because I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but that's basically what we're looking to do with these. I might try and leg into some uh, spreads like I've talked about on here before. Um, last time we had very little at risk on Sereno. I ended up like basically just having at risk some of the sevens and the nines. I, I had all kinds of different options um, expiring yesterday, but I picked them up really cheap when it was down in the sixes. So <clears throat> it all worked out pretty well, but that's what we're looking on for this. And I might try and trade into a spread, which I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. So when you go on Robinhood, you go into your trade options. So normally you leave this top right thing as a buy, and then, you know, you can buy an option. But what you do is you come here to the sell. You have to be approved on spreads. And what you have to do is, like, for example, on these $10 calls, I can sell anything above this $10 call and collect the premium that you see on the right. So you can do that at the same point. If you put in the order, you select them on this top right button up here, you select the two and you can do them at the same time. It's called a debit spread. But what I like to do is wait for the stock price to go up a little bit. And then if you leg into it, you can usually get your money back, you know, on a few dollars out and you can be on a free roll for you know hundreds sometimes thousands of dollars so if you guys haven't done any spreads please look into doing spreads but let me know in the comment section what stocks you guys are looking at this week and what you guys have traded this past week and if you like the content please make sure you like and subscribe that way you guys get the updated videos and once again congratulations guys we made it to 20 subscribers that's pretty sweet thank you for checking it out and thank you for watching we'll see you on the next video